Hello ladies and gentlemen, for uh, today I have uh, prepared um, a uh, three parts description of the um, uh, upgrade, of the update of the uh, Kylon uh, uh, media server. So uh, the three parts will be reception, uh, pre-processing, prep, post-processing and uh, streaming. Um, for the first part, as I said, we're gonna go with the um, uh, reception and uh, receiving inputs and, of course, uh, streams, channels, whatever uh, uh, input would you like to add into the Kylon. So, firstly, I'm gonna log in into the Kylon, yeah, um, and uh, as I said, this is the version 3. As you can see uh, right here is the Kylo Enterprise Edition version 3.00 built from uh, uh, October 4 October so as I said first part first uh, we're gonna start with uh, adding transponders and scanning I already added a couple of them but I'm gonna show you how to add uh, uh, and scan a uh, transponder for uh, this purpose I'm gonna use uh, a uh, TBS uh, 6508 uh, uh, multi-standard uh, 8 tuner card which is the latest and one of the best so uh, let's proceed on we're gonna go to the transponder we're gonna create a new record we're gonna call this record for the text purpose test purpose I'm gonna use three frequencies uh, cable 306 yeah this is just a genuine name it's nothing aspect, uh, nothing uh, affecting what are you choosing you can choose here whatever you want and now we have to choose the um, uh, signal type so uh, for uh, today I told you we're gonna use the DVB-C Annex A signal yeah and here we're gonna put the frequency actually we'll fill in 306 followed by uh, six zeros we save the current configuration and now it will ask you to input the symbol rate in my case the symbol rate is 6900 but also after 6900 uh, because they are in hertz and megahertz uh, you have to add three three zeros as you can see right now we have created a uh, transponder we have inputted the transponder information from this step it's quite simple all we have to do is just to go on the right side of the page right here and press the scan button and uh, in this drop down menu we can choose on which tuner would you like to scan as i said we have the 6508 here and we can scan on any adapter it doesn't matter uh, we're gonna uh, scan on uh, adapter zero input zero okay uh, I don't have uh, uh, multiple SPTS per audio, but I'm gonna mark uh, encrypted stream as enabled, yeah, because I want to see everything scanned. And the LCN, I'm gonna ask him to obtain it from the source. Source. So once this is set, I'm gonna hit the scan button. And I need to wait about uh, 30 seconds, maybe up to one minute, depending on the uh, number of the channels on that frequency. On satellite, it could take more because some uh, some uh, transponders on the satellite have have a lot of services and uh, streams. Okay, as you can see, I have the scan done and the front the front end acquired signal. We can see the PAT uh, and the SID list. And of course, each service mapped properly and created as program. Yeah, we can just check this. It's scanned. We can go in uh, below transponders, uh, all programs options, and we can see here the streams are uh, scanned and mapped automatically. As you can see here, we can uh, see the uh, stream's name, we can see the type, the uh, LCN, and the transponder, and the audio tracks and the subtitle tracks of the stream from this specific frequency so uh, for example if we're gonna click on one of the streams uh, let's take for example uh, BBC World News yeah it's only English track we can uh, 
notice here that um, we have the filter service ID 629 uh, uh, if we want we can filter PIDs also we can assign a specific CAM uh, conditional access module if we want to uh, uh, do a little bit more uh, uh, about conditional access module and we need more information so we can click on the view and it will expand the view and uh, we can see the structure of the stream itself so uh, mostly this is it uh, but we're gonna continue because this is one stream one frequency for the again for the test purpose i'm gonna create one more uh, this time i'm gonna use uh, 450 by the way for dvbc the multiplier is 8 megahertz so each 8 megahertz you have a new frequency 306 it, the next one is uh, going to be 314 as i said we're going to use for the testing purpose uh, the 450 at the moment yeah i'm going to explain a little bit later why i'm going to save the transponder and i'm going to add the symbol rate again and i'm going to scan again I can scan with the second tuner, I can scan, scan with uh, the first, I can scan with the last, it doesn't matter. I'm going to scan with the last one, for example. I'm going to mark encrypted stream as enable, yeah, and I'm going to hit the scan. In the meanwhile, it's going to scan. Bear in mind that uh, this is only the um, scanning process and, uh, of course, mapping of the found channels, streams, uh, into the uh, memory of the Kylon. This is not actually yet streaming. It's just scanning and mapping the, the services. Okay, we, we got the services. We can uh, see them from here, program list. Uh, I scanned this one because there are also HD channels, full HD channels. Uh, as I said, uh, it's for a purpose uh, seeing uh, um, other type of uh, streams. Now, for example, uh, in this case, we have a HD channel. We can see already here um, much more information like um, on HD because HD is a little bit more complex. Uh, full HD streams are a little bit more complex. For example, we have PIDs for uh, video, PIDs for audio and PIDs for teletext. Just, just a simple example. Same thing with the CAM when you want to use uh, conditional access module. Okay, uh, we have scanned also this one. I'm gonna scan one more uh, just to uh, learn the process. Yeah, so uh, I'm gonna scan the 434 frequency this time. Again, I'm gonna use DVBC 434 followed by six zeros. Okay, we're gonna save, we're gonna add the symbol rate, save again, and we're gonna scan this time with another tuner, with a middle tuner, for example, uh, adapter input 3. Again, I'm going to mark as enable if any uh, encrypted services are there, and I'm going to hit the scan button. It will take a couple of seconds, 30 maybe, 30 seconds or maybe 40 seconds, and uh, we're going to see the scan properly done, as you can see right here. Now, uh, we can see also again the channels here and we can see again a bunch of uh, um, uh, free to air um, non-encrypted because my cable operator is not encrypting everything um, AG channels okay let's proceed further in this at this moment if you would like to stream these channels to local network just stream I mean nothing else but just stream you're gonna need uh, all these three frequencies which you have scanned the 306 450 434 you're gonna need to assign them to a tuner card to a tuner inside the, uh, the card so we're gonna click the tuner cards uh, we're gonna edit this field and now we, we can add the scan frequency uh, I'm gonna not add yet because I am gonna show you uh, for satellite uh, an example. This is for satellite. Uh, plain and simple, just uh, here is the name of the frequency, the system, the delivery system, uh, the frequency itself, the symbol rate, polarity, front end number. If you want to select the front end number, it's not necessary. You can leave the default one. 
uh, if you have this X switch or this X uh, uh, switch port, yeah, you can uh, automatically add them here. If you want LMB power, I mean, you want uh, smooth and immediately response for the LMB, you should activate the LMB power to be active. If you put it non-active, it will reduce the power consumption overall, but uh, it's going to take a little bit uh, until uh, the tuner is tuning properly and uh, make communication with the LMB. So this is it. All you have to do again, just press scan here. Yeah, and you can uh, select any tuner in the satellite uh, uh, delivery system and uh, it's gonna scan them and they gonna uh, map the channels or the content of that frequency. We're gonna go back to the tuner card. In the tuner cards, uh, I said, to stream, we're going to need to assign and occupy each frequency with one tuner, assign and uh, pair each frequency with the tuner. So I'm going to choose for input 0, I'm going to choose the 306, for uh, input 1, I'm going to choose the 5450, and uh, for input 2, I'm going to choose the 434. I'm going to save everything, yeah, as you can see here, everything is saved. and. Uh, uh, I'm gonna hit a commit. As I told you in the previous uh, um, Kylon movie, this commit button and the restart media server is the most important function because any change you make, anything you make, until you are not applying the commit with the restart media server, your change won't be visible, your change uh, done, it's not recorded by kernel and by the uh, entire system. So uh, I hit the uh, commit button with restart media server. It should take probably up to one minute, maybe two minutes, depending on the configuration you have. And in the meanwhile, you can see in the status area, uh, the CPU, the memory, the CPU usage, and already the transponders, they, you can see them, they are assigned. Even the uh, commit is still in progress. Yeah, you can see already the streams are assigned. They are here, you can see them. Uh, and we have a bunch of information. Compared to, to the V2, the previous version, in, in the V3 we have, it, V3 is uh, based on a lot more information, a lot more uh, uh, reports and information, logs and everything you need as a, a operator or a television technician or a, a streamer or whatever uh, your area of work is, field of work is. So I can see here we have the uh, CAM, yeah, if you are using a uh, TBS uh, 6590 uh, with double tuner and the uh, CI slot, double CI slot, you can see them here, the slots. They are even interactive. I don't have at the moment for this test. Um, probably in one of the future movies, we're gonna make one such movie with the uh, CI. So uh, you can click actually here, it's become interactive and you can see the CI informations, the conditional uh, access uh, informations such as uh, um, operator uh, informations, uh, CAD, and a uh, couple more other things. We can see here um, uh, the uh, SNR, the, the signal, seems like it didn't refresh, let's check, check yeah. Uh, my uh, home cable operator is uh, quite uh, uh, low on signal, it's not an exceptional signal. Uh, we can see the strength uh, and as I said, the, 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 the quality of the signal. Now, further, we can see the bit rate of the, each frequency uh, and the number of the channels. Here you can see, for example, it's inputting a uh, large number of the channels. Here you can see actually the channels. Here are the inputs, uh, such as PAT, CAT, NIT, and T, TDT, and SDT. But also you can see some uh, information so about the the streams as well. Uh, when it was started, duration, how much time, and here if you have uh, issues, uh, you can see the restarts of the of the uh, transponder of in case of uh, reception issues. Pretty much this is it. Um, we have uh, now we have to test 
and see uh, exactly if uh, whatever we have uh, imported right here and um, we have set here for example for reception if we can watch them actually locally so right now uh, again uh, compared to v2 the stream access urls are a little bit change there are two type of views uh, system view and uh, the list view in the list view you're gonna see them all and you can see the links right here yeah for each one for example if i want to stream one i'm gonna copy this link from here i'm gonna open my vlc and i'm gonna open the stream hit paste and play let's see yeah it's it's playing as you can see and it's playing quite nicely i want another one i can just go right here and uh, copy the http and uh, again add it add network stream i'm gonna paste the next one and i'm gonna have the second one as you can see see there are two streams here uh, if i want a hd channel i just copy the uh, hd channel copy and uh, paste again in the network stream and play and pretty much that's it yeah you can of course if you want you can uh, achieve a uh, playlist if you want that's not a problem you have to go in the system view yeah, and uh, uh, you can uh, achieve a playlist uh, uh, from here, from one of the, um, right here, HLS. You can even uh, output them HTTP original unicast. Uh, you can uh, multicast them if you want. And of course you can HLS them. Now, as I said, uh, you have even the possibility of uh, getting uh, a, um, how it's called, a, uh, playlist if I'm not mistaken let me check it's some which should be somewhere over here maybe oh, yeah it's one of these I can copy also from there from here as you can see and uh, copy them in the, in the clipboard that's not a problem okay uh, this is just simple uh, uh, um, scan reception and uh, stream for the next part for the second part of the of this movie uh, we're gonna uh, enter a little bit in the deeper um, uh, information and uh, especially functions uh, of the kylon uh, media server one of them is going to be how to use a modulator for example uh, we're gonna um, uh, explain how to use the uh, modules for example, softcam decryption modules in case of uh, you having such thing and you have access to such thing. And of course, we're going to discuss a little bit about uh, transcoding via GPU or CPU uh, in, in, in the um, Kylon uh, uh, version uh, 3.0 media server. Uh, that's it for, uh, for part one. Uh, see you uh, in, in part two. Please uh, like, uh, subscribe and follow me for uh, part two and part three of the Kylon uh, Media Server version 3.0. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye bye.